Okay, so if you want to learn how to put your strings into an alternate tuning in MuseScore 4, thankfully it's actually quite easy to do. Um, all you need to do is right-click anywhere on the tab and then come down to Stave or Part Properties. And then click here where it says Edit String Data. Now you can see all of your strings listed here from the lowest string to the highest string, E, A, D, G, B, and E. So let's say you want to put your strings into open D tuning, which is from the lowest to the highest, D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. So what we have to do now is just change each string individually. So I've got the, e, the low E string uh, selected. I'm going to click on edit string. As you can see, it's on E at the moment. All I'm going to do is select D2 and click OK. Now the A string will remain as it is, the D string will remain as it is, the G we're going to take down to an F sharp. So I'm going to select that G3, click Edit String. Now we want to go down to F sharp 3. The 3 just refers to the octave that it's in. So if, if it's G3, you want to select F sharp 3, not F sharp 4 or F sharp 2. Stay in the same octave. Press OK. And then for the B string, we want to take that down to an A. I'm going to edit string again. So we're going to select A3 instead of B3. And last but not least, we're going to edit this uh, high E string and change it to a D. So we're going to select D4 instead. Click OK. OK. And apply. And last but not least, click OK one more time. And now the uh, strings in the tab should be in open D tuning. Um, so let's just do a little experiment here. I'm going to add some notes to, to the tabs. Um, and let's have a listen to how it sounds. So there it is. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.